That is a huge amount of gold for Cosmic Apocalypse. He'd actually been farming Teemo before this. He, Teemo was actually worth very little gold compared to that 300 gold Caitlyn. Pressure being applied to the mid lane and the bot lane by home belly support. Flesh! Forced out of five. I want to look at this mid lane matchup. Actually, there's their gold seems to be pretty even with uh, Zed with a little bit more CS than the Rise, but the matchup seems to look more one sided towards the Zed. So, what do you think about that? I agree. Uh, Rise did. He had an uh, early game popping off, but uh, Zed was able to get back into the game. With the help of his team, Rolly getting his hits. Flash forward by Ram is not going to try and need a knocker, but the con is enough. Zed ults in, and he's going to be taken out. A little too deep there. Let's see if uh, Biotech can get a second kill. Rise is trying to ult for the zoning, and the ult. Timo going to secure that with a blinding knock. Actually, really good use of the exhaust. Instantaneous exhaust after the dead ultimate to save his teammate and himself from Rise. Yeah, pretty well played by that talent. We got two kills there. Right. For one. But they're still down. And thousands of gold. Yeah, the tower difference is just making up the majority of that, I believe. This Draven does so much damage. But Wukong's here to help him. No, no huge stack is still dishing out. Dragon with an Infernal Drake coming up right now. Oh no, will be looking to pressure that. Yeah. Giving themselves even more damage. Yeah. I believe that if you look at the map, you actually see Biotechnology's uh, side of the map is very lowly lit. There's there's almost no control, which is, I believe is uh, contributing to the fact that they can't get any picks because of this. So, yeah, Very good board coverage. And it appears the spectator client is trolling me. That is an ocean drake, not a infernal. That was interesting. Zed trying to get that raptor, not able to secure it. A little bit. Draven is taking a lot of damage here, but Brand is coming on the back. On the back. Well, by the Brand and the Draven, Kar Karma going to shield, and everyone makes it out. Mm. Oh, he's very far forward. Homebill sure. looking to further control Bow Technologies uh, jungle by taking that Poopa. Timo. I want to pressure the Baron. Yeah. Wukong ping the Timo, but the rest of the whole thing looks like they just want to get the Baron. So. Yeah. And if Garvin doesn't go there soon, they're just going to take. Garvin walking forward. Sees the brand and he's going to sit there. The Baron is sticking away and he's taking it out. Yeah, very slow Baron from Home Bell Esports. I'm surprised that by the uh, we did not expect something. Not even a ping was directed towards the Baron there. Alright. I think they're just offering their respect. They're really scared of this Home Bell squad. Very true. One single top from Ramis just means the end of your life as Draven will walk up and one shot you. Right. But without a contest, that's going to be a Baron and 300 gold for every member, all five members of Home Health. Mm -hmm. Actually, Ryze and Zed still, still on Eastern ground, but the bot lane, you see the bot lane, almost like 80 gold, 80 CS difference from Draven. That's, that's perhaps three kill difference on top of Draven passes. Zed is walking forward and is gonna get knocked out. I have forces. Karma flashes forward. 
Mukong behind. Going absolutely one shot game. He's looking for a second kill on the Karma, who doesn't have flash now. Flash forward by Brand. Unable to get the root. Flash taken out by and minions. Wait, he Tifa took the brown warp and he's gonna be taken out by Sludge Bunny. Yeah. That's lethality Wukong for you. Nine and one now. Uh completing his dust blade and his uh Yomu's ghost blade here. Really just shutting down the biotechnology team. So now not only does Biotech have to worry about the Draven, but also the Wukong death in the battle. <laughs> and uh engaged by the set. Looking for a second with the death mark. Ramus is going to take it away. And with the ace, Ondel is looking for the base. Good start by Brand, and the Q is going to secure that. Is that with the Q, making, uh, letting Brand, uh, Brand's passive do enough damage? Like double inhibitor for Ondel. Not looking like they will be able to get the top to see the amount of uh, emo troops in the top in the river, but it might be the end of the year. Yeah, and looking for the two, uh, they could just win right now. Wukong is zoning the biotech, and with everyone running away from the Nexus, Mondel just gonna be the Nexus. Raven's not there to focus the Nexus. 27 to the game. Mondel Looks like the end of that game. Lark 155 has quit, but the victory has already been secured. Alright, very well played by Hondel, both games. Yeah. I think Biotech just choked on the first game, and I believe the champion select uh, actually defeated their composition with the Teemo pick there. However, Hondel did play very well, so. Props to the bot lane for that, carrying both games. All right, yeah, definitely Blarg looking very strong, also in his uh, previous games. Oh, always a consistent player, it seems, for Homedal. Yeah, definitely. And uh, actually, Fuzzy Bunny, the first time on a damage support, actually pulling it out and being able to be successful on it really just shows his variety on, the champion, on his champions. Yeah, definitely. He might, he might be the second Lecrate there with his uh, brand skills. Exactly. Alright, so... Tune in next week! For exactly. week 5. Yeah, we'll try to inform you as soon as possible on the Facebook page when we're going to be streaming. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash You might have to put that in the search bar because we don't have a verified channel, but you can see the there. Alright. Thank you for tuning in this week. Yeah.